Yo, everybody, this is Daniel bringing you guys another Packet Tracer Lab walkthrough. Today, we're going to be going over configuring IPv4 and IPv6 interfaces. So, this lab is really not that difficult, literally, just basic IP configuration. But I guess I might as well just go for it anyway. So, we start off with R1, and this is the IPv4 address in. So, the, it prompts you for a password uh, when you log in initially or when you get into this console initially. So you just put in the information to say here. So you put Cisco here, enable, and you put class here and you get in. No more passwords from here on out. And it asks you to configure IP addressing for the LAN interfaces for R1, which is G00 and G01. And then it also asks you to configure IP addressing for PC1, PC2. Obviously those are not R1's uh, LAN interfaces. So just go ahead and get into Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface configuration mode and just run an IP address command with the um, host address and then the subnet mask. So after that, make sure you run no shutdown. Right? You want to make sure the, in the interface is enabled. And you go over to the other one, you basically do the same thing except you're using a different IP address. So literally spelled out for you, writing instructions, nothing really too crazy going on in this lab as, uh, as far as I'm aware, except mistypings okay and previously these two links were red i don't know if i showed it but now they're green because we set no so we set the interface to no shutdown so it's fine now all right now let's go to pc1 so if you want to configure ip address for pcs obviously it's not their command line desktop ip configuration boom you're here all right and then 192 168 just literally put in numbers that they give you here not really much explained to do here. Just literally copy this entire row and you're good. Maybe not like the best representation of how you do this on like an actual Windows or Linux machine, but I guess convenience is good to have. <laughs> so yeah, same deal with PC2. Just literally put in the IPv4 addresses like that. And then R2 on our side, we're gonna be putting in the IPv6 addresses. I was actually checking something before I started this video and I'll talk about that in a second. So I asked basically configure IP addressing for R2 LAN interfaces, which is also G00 and G01 and also PC3 and PC4. Again, with IPv6. And the thing about IPv6 interfaces is that uh, at least here they specified a specific link local address for you to use. You could have it randomly generate one, the router that is generate on its interfaces. Uh, and I was checking because I didn't know if they actually configured the link local address on both these interfaces beforehand, but they actually did. So obviously that wouldn't give any points. So it's just kind of interested to see if they actually did put that as a default as the link local address for these interfaces because otherwise when you put it as the default gateway you can't put a link local address on a router as a default gateway by the way but if they didn't do that then the connectivity wouldn't work so i guess it kind of made sense that they would do that but anyway i'll stop rambling uh same deal here except you just run ipv6 address and 201 dv8 doesn't matter if it's capital or not and co it's not actually an O, it's a zero. If you type in an O, it will pretend to not understand what you're typing in, or maybe it will, but it won't, because it will interpret it as a word, not as a um, IPv6 address. 13 double quote one slash 64. So yeah, just type in the IPv6 address and the prefix length, I think is what it's called. It kind of slips my mind sometimes, but I think it works. Yeah, well, it doesn't say here, but whatever. Something from zero to 128, but in this case, it's 64, obviously, because it says over here, uh, and I forgot to no-shut that interface. But generally speaking, for IPv6, you're not gonna be seeing anything more than slash 48, slash 64, and slash 128. It's kind of like a sanity check. Um, PC3, so when you wanna configure IPv6 addresses, you go down here, notice how it prompts you for a link local address here, but that's actually not where you want to put it in. This is the PC's, uh, this is the PC's own link local address. You actually want to put the default gateway here, uh, the link local address of the default gateway here. So FE80 double colon two, and then I'm going to put DB8 CODE 12 double colon A64. Okay. PC4, same thing, 
not really too much to explain here. Just put in numbers and you're fine. CODE 13A slash 64 and FE double colon 2. And we got 100%. We could verify connectivity, but I kind of don't want to. So I'm just going to leave it as that. We have 100 connectivity should work. You can test it out if you want to. That's pretty much it for this lab. Super short one. Uh, not really much to explain here. So hope you guys enjoyed that video, I guess. And I'll see you next time.